with this video, we're going to cover how to actually install and download the Asiga Composer software. To do this, we're going to go to your Asiga account at asiga.com. So I'm going to start my Google Chrome. And I'm going to go to asiga.com. Under your Asiga account, we can see that we have a login section, our Asiga website. And under this, we're going to add our, our login with our email account that we created the account with. And to actually get to the software download or to find the driver for the software, we're going to go to my products under your account and then we're going to go to software. From here under software, we're going to go to the composer software the latest version. So this is a new version. This is 1.2.12-4 as the latest version available. I'm going to select and download the 64-bit version. That is because my Windows operating system is 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, then you select 32-bit. If you're using Mac or Linux, then you would select those options. Also, while this is downloading, I do want to cover there is a change log here that covers the changes that was made to the software and also if you need to access the user manual under any guide right here, this is actually a user guide for the Asiga Composer software. I'm going to go ahead and left click on the download that has occurred. If you get a any sort of like protection or Windows protection, if you select on more info, you can run anyways. So I'm going to select on run anyways. Yes, allow changes. And then I'm just going to follow through the prompts. So I'm going to select next. I agree. Next. Install. It's going to go through its installation process. And then I'm going to go and select on finish. And just like that, we have installed our Seagate Composer software. The next steps after this will be to import in the material INI files for the material you want to use for your Seagate 3D printer.